Hello and welcome to Crypto TV. I am your news host Parvati Nirvan and let's get into the world of crypto with English News Bulletin. Let's have a look at the headlines first. RBI feels cryptocurrencies can lead to dollarization of economy. Some Indian global exchanges still hopeful of Terra's revival. FTX founder Sam Bankman says Terra project wasn't a Ponzi scheme. India's Eros Investments partners with Dubai's crypto regulator. Cryptocurrencies rebound amid thin trades, Bitcoin above $30,000. SBI holdings to buy controlling stakes in Bitcoin for $99 million. Swiss asset manager denies $3 million Luna UST bailout talks. Aurora launches $90 million fund for DeFi apps on Near Protocol. Cryptowire replaces Terra's Luna token in IC15 with Near. Cryptocurrencies can lead to dollarization of a part of the economy, which would be against India's sovereign interest. Top officials of the Reserve Bank of India have told a parliamentary panel, according to reports. Briefing the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Finance chaired by Jayant Sinha, top officials of the RBI, including its governor Shakti Kanta Das, have briefed the panel on the threat to financial system stability posed by the digital assets. The central bank argued that cryptocurrencies could seriously undermine the RBI's capacity to determine monetary policy and regulate the monetary system of the country as a digital assets have the potential to be a medium of exchange and replace the rupee both in domestic and cross-border transactions. The RBI said that since almost all cryptocurrencies were dollar-dominated and issued by foreign private entities, it may eventually lead to dollarization of a part of India's economy, which will be against the country's sovereign interest. A few Indian and global crypto exchanges continue to be hopeful of Terraform co-founder Du Quan's ability to resurrect its Terra blockchain project along with stablecoin Terra USD which collapsed last week. Though major Indian crypto platforms CoinDCX, CoinSwitch Kuber, WazirX and global exchanges Binance have delisted stablecoin Terra's stablecoin and native token Luna after the collapse of the Terra network, smaller exchanges have decided to continue with the trading in the tokens. Indian exchange BayuCoin and some global exchanges like KuCoin and FTX have chosen not to delist Luna in the hope that the blockchain ecosystem still has some hope of revival. Millions of global and Indian investors saw their holdings wiped out in the most dramatic collapse of a major digital asset. According to Shivam Thakral, CEO BayuCoin protecting the interest of users is topmost priority and delisting Luna would mean that the entire investment of users will become zero. The continued training in Luna gives users at least a chance to minimize their losses through cost averages. We always advise our users to invest in crypto with a horizon of two to three years, Thakral told a local publication. Luna token was recently trading at $0.0002746, over 99.9% .9 down in the last 24 hours. On May 6, the token had been trading at $80 before the slide started. FTX founder Sam Bankman Fried has come out in defense of Terra ecosystem and its CEO and co founder Du Quan, saying the project was at most the bad investment but not a Ponzi scheme. Bankman Fried aired his views in a tweet in response to a publication's article that described Du Quan as Elizabeth Holmes of crypto. The FTX founder said that not all bad things are the same bad thing. While referring to the comparison to the failed medical technology company Theranos, CEO Elizabeth Holmes. Holmes had lied to investors about the capacity of the technology she was developing, but Du Quan made no such misinterpretations. According to Bankman Fried, Luna UST was very transparent and Du Quan stood by the project despite signs that it could crash. 
Kwan never lied about the fact that UST was backed by volatile assets and could crash. Eros Investments, run by India's Lula family, plans to develop Web 3.0 and blockchain businesses out of Dubai as a part of partnership deal to operate under Dubai's new Virtual Assets Regulator, Virtual Asset Regulatory Authority. Eros Investments, a media, sports, blockchain, digital commerce and gaming venture, wants to develop Web 3.0 and blockchain businesses from the Dubai World Trade Center Authority. It plans an accelerator fund to support more than 100 startups by 2025, which will be regulated by VARA. Eros is in advanced stages of readiness to launch a revolutionary multiverse experience that bridges the physical and virtual world, said Kishore Lulla, chairman of Eros Investment. The deal is a part of a push by the United Arab Emirates to become a global hub for the virtual asset sector and broaden its economy. Cryptocurrencies rebounded Monday mirroring a rebound in Asian stocks with US equity futures amid steadier mood in global markets. Bitcoin climbed above $30,000. Equities rose in Japan, Australia and South Korea, while Nasdaq 100 and S&P 500 contracts pushed higher, signaling some relief from this year's stock market route. Sentiment may be getting a boost from People's Bank of China, which effectively cut the interest rates for new mortgages over the weekend, seeking to bolster an ailing housing market and also as Shanghai partially eased its COVID lockdown, pointing to a gradual opening of economy activity. Investors, however, remain cautious ahead of a key US economic data this week and the Federal Reserve Chair's speech on the Tuesday. The caution was reflected in this trading volume across cryptocurrencies. Trading volume fell over 14% in the past 24 hours to $75.63 billion. Bitcoin was recently seen trading at around $30,800, up over 3% in the past 24 hours. Ether, the second biggest cryptocurrency, was at $2,100, up over 3% in the same time span. Other major altcoins too traded higher, with Cardano and Solana's native tokens spurring by over 10% each. Japanese securities and banking giant SBI Holdings will buy a controlling interest in Bitpoint Japan, a crypto trading platform and domestic rival of SBI VC Trade, from its parent company. SBI will buy a 51% stake of Bitpoint from Remix Point for $98.6 million. Bitpoint's market value was estimated at more than $193 million. Remix Point said it will form a capital and business alliance with SBI to expand its business through crypto collaboration. SBI will also take a 5% stake in Remix Point. The deal also involves a provision that would entitle Remix Point to receive future compensation if Bitpoint meets a number of financial goals. CryptoWire, a global crypto super app that is a unit of ticker plant, has reshuffled its IC15 index, India's first cryptocurrency index, by replacing Terra's Luna token with a near protocol after the collapse of the Do Quan run project. The reshuffle in the IC15 index was effective Saturday. That's all for today's news. For daily news and updates of crypto world, don't forget to watch English News Bulletin twice a day only on Crypto TV. I am your news host Parvati Nirvan signing off for now. See you tomorrow and have a wonderful day. Ta-da!